Yo, Elliot, do you believe it's a good idea to focus on one thing for several years at a time? Or is it better to maximize every facet of life all at once? For example, one may choose to focus on building muscle and make that his sole goal for six months. On the other hand, one may choose to focus on acquiring riches for six months to a year or even longer. As you know, I've been working on saving and investing money. What is the best approach in your opinion? I think that you have to be very limited. I, I don't think we can focus on every facet all at once. I think that's a recipe for getting very frustrated. I think we got to choose, and this, is, this was just a, a conception of mine very early in my career. I said that I need a heartbeat. And even today, I need a heartbeat. I'll tell you what my heartbeat is today. Well, what is a heartbeat? A heartbeat is lub dub, systole, diastole, right? Your whole body is predicated on two, two eyes, two ears, two lobes of my brain, two nostrils, two hands, two feet. Even the rhythm of our physiology, inhale, exhale, my heart, systole, Diastol, my nervous system, autonomic uh, or, or um, parasympathetic, sympathetic. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So in my opinion, it is best if you're going to be concentrated, right? And we know that concentration is the power that makes change, right? So for example, the sun right now, I had to close my shades here because the sun's coming in and it's really bright. That sun is it's bright, it's lighting up everywhere. In fact, the entire half of the country right now that I live in and other parts of the world are lit up with the sun. But why is the sun not burning us, <laughs> right? Why is, why is not my dry grass out there not combusting, <laughs> turning into fire? The sun is all fire well, because it's spread out. The power of the sun is spread out. So it warms, it may get hot, but it ain't going to burn us up, right? Unless there's a solar flare, right? And then it just reaches out and burns something, right? That happens, I don't think that happens very often. So that sun is spread out. It's doing its job. It's fine. But if I concentrate the power of that sun into a magnifying glass, right? You ever see a magnifying glass? When you're a kid... I've done this when I was a kid. We used to get magnifying glasses and Cracker Jacks. I don't even know if they have prizes in Cracker Jacks anymore. But I used to eat Cracker Jacks. <laughs> anyway, I'm dating myself. I used to eat Cracker Jacks. A little box. I don't even, do you guys know what Cracker Jacks are? It was a little, a little box with like caramel coated popcorn and peanuts. You used to get them at baseball games and shit. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it used to come with little toys. And I remember I got this magnifying glass, man. And you just open up that magnifying glass and you just let the sun bake some dry leaves. You're making a fire. You create a forest fire. You could burn down a whole, you could burn down your house. You could burn down a whole forest with that little magnifying glass because it's concentrating the power of the sun right into it. So we know that concentration is important, but on what and how many things, right? And I would say also that there are seasons as well. And so you got to choose certain things to concentrate on in various seasons. So for example, in my life, I was concentrated from June, July, August, September, three or four months, I was concentrating on strongman training. I wanted to compete and win in my first master strongman. There were a lot of things that were left undone in my life because I was concentrating on that. I dedicated the premium hours of my day, which is first thing in the morning, to strongman training. I, I had two things, and that's why it's a love dub. This is why it's a sister all die saw. It was strongman training and essentially getting my family established in our new place. So there was a lot of like, you know, trying to figure out the homeschooling thing, trying to figure out the homesteading thing. I was spending a lot of time on my land and on my body, right? The, the, the body and my land. Well, just this month, I recognized, okay, I think that season is done. I competed in my strongman show and we've got some momentum here 
things are starting to like smooth out. We've been here for over six months and I don't have to concentrate so much on fixing things. And that was really what it was. It was like a lot of things that need to be fixed and repaired. We got a lot of it done so far. So now my whole, I'm in a new season. What are the two things I'm focused on right now? Check out my altar. I get up in the morning and it's been, it's been months since I situated myself towards prayer. Now I'm situating myself towards prayer in the morning. And I haven't created any kind of product, course, program, book in a very long time. Right? I, was, I created this program. I've been doing it with you guys. I've gotten a lot of momentum with it. I even created different levels for you. But it's since moving here, I haven't created anything. So you know what I do now in the morning? I focus on my prayer, my worship, and I'm writing a book. I'm writing a book. I'm putting it together. I've been putting this book together for the longest time, but I haven't concentrated on it because I was concentrating on lifting. I was concentrating on moving. I had so many other things. So... I think you can only concentrate on maximum two things. Two things, right? Our body has two. Two. Two things. But also, that two things can change based on the season, based on where you are. And so sometimes you have to reevaluate what's important. So you say, for example, when may choose building muscle that'll take uh, six months. Well, that's what I did with straw man. For six months, I didn't focus on any. I couldn't focus on anything else. I didn't have the energy. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the vitality. I couldn't. But then when that was done, it was done. You see what I'm saying? So you, 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 you could only focus on a limited amount of things per season. And I think that's the way we have to really start thinking about it. What are, the, what are my priorities? What are the limited things? Two things. Every, it doesn't mean that you won't do other things, but your focus won't be as intensely focused on it right like i said it was my my two things is you know prayer and 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 writing but it doesn't mean that i'm not with my family it doesn't mean that i'm not working out it's just that my workouts are they're not as intense anymore that i'm not doing them as frequently anymore they don't need as much as my energy anymore and same thing with the kids we've already got some momentum with the homeschooling everybody's got their room situated everything things are going well so i can kind of like let that be on a back burner right doesn't mean it's not important just means it doesn't have my direct attention. And that's what that's something that is uniquely masculine is that we really can only focus on one thing at a time. That's why even like with my son, he's a, he's a little boy. So he just he, he demonstrates through his behavior certain masculine things. And I'm like, all right, I get it. He's a boy. But like if I if one of my daughters is doing something and I call their name, they pop up right away. You know, no matter what they were doing, I'm like, yes, dad, like they hear me. And they're like, yes, dad. My son, if he, no matter what he's doing, if he's doing something, I'm like, Benjamin, Benjamin. It takes him a little while, and then he's like, oh, are you talking to me? Because why? He's focused in on that thing that he's doing, right? He's focused in on the, 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 the thought that he's having, right? And so it's okay to, be, it's okay to narrow your focus down on something, uh, as long as you know how to pull yourself up out of it when the season is done and move on to something else. So I hope that helps you, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.